Did you know there are some medical tests that you can do at home, like taking your blood pressure? If it's higher than 120 over 80, after testing it a couple times, you should make a doctor's appointment. Right, none of these tests can actually confirm that you have a disease, but as health reporter Haley Hernandez tells us, if you get consistent test results, you definitely want to speak with a doctor. If you do not regularly go to the doctor, you may not know if you're at risk for diabetes. If you're overweight and your midsection measures above average, you need to get tested. What's average? If a woman measures her waist circumference and she's 35 inches and above on her waist, and if a man does the same thing and he's 40 inches and higher on his waist, those people would have a much higher risk of developing diabetes in their lifetime. If you have back pain that sometimes goes away with stretches but not pain relievers, it might be your sciatic nerve. Here's how to test it. Put your chin to your chest and stick one leg out. And if it hurts and it shoots down um, their knee, down to their hip, and it causes severe pain, it could indicate that a person has a sciatic nerve inflammation. Now try this. Look at a door frame or large window frame from across the room. Look with your right eye for 30 seconds and switch. Dr. Lay with Kelsey Siebold says if you notice any change to your vision, things look fuzzy, cloudy, not straight, it's time for an eye test. Diseases that cause blindness can possibly be slowed if it's caught early. And it's easier than ever to know your heart rate. You should stay between 60 and 99. Athletes could be lower, but if it's higher than 99, that could indicate stress on your heart. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News.